When Sao La was discovered by science in the mountains of Vietnam in 1992, it was probably the most surprising zoological find of the 20th century. I think the most special thing about Sao La is it's just so freaking beautiful. These long sweeping horns and these spots on the side of the face and it's unlike anything had ever been seen before in Asia. And it's just got this quiet, gentle personality. I've been working on Sao La conservation since I saw a captive in Laos in 1996. An experience that probably brought me here to talking to you today. The Saula is the emblem of the Alamite Mountains. It's beautiful, it's shy, it's elusive. It was only discovered in 1992, and 25 years later, it's on the brink of extinction. Having worked in the Alamites for 20 years, I've seen the amount of snaring and poaching that is going on. There is no chance for Saula to survive in the wild. We have to bring it into captivity, and we have to do it soon, or we will lose this species forever. What success will look like is the IUCN one plan approach, which is the, the pairing of really high quality conservation of the natural environment of Sala and the captive breeding component. Because we're doing captive breeding, so one day we're going to release them into sites that we've secured against the, the poaching crisis. Some of the most consistent supporters to Sala conservation in the last 10 years have been zoos of the world. And we just need now the zoos to go that extra step to make this captive breeding program a success. So we're trying to raise $1 million for the capture and conservation breeding program for Saula. We're trying to raise $500,000 from Europe and $500,000 from American zoos. We really hope you'll take up this challenge and to prove the commitment of GWC, we are going to match the first $250,000 that comes in through the door in 2017. I'm Evanna Griffith, the Executive Director for IASA. Our members have a long history of conservation for species from the very small to the very tall. And nowhere has that been more apparent from our Southeast Asia campaign looking at saving a range of species, including the charismatic Saula. This species is still in urgent need of our help, and only by working together as a strong zoo community can we really help uh, bring this species back from the brink of extinction. Wildlife Reserve Singapore focuses its conservation support on critically endangered species of the Southeast Asian region. And we are proud to be a partner to the Saula project by providing funding and in-kind support. For years, the zoo communities have come together to save numerous numbers of species from extinction. American bison, California condor, the black-footed ferret, and the Arabian oryx, to name a few. Today, the Saula is in the same situation as those species. We have the ability the expertise and the determination to prevent this species from becoming extinct. But it will take all of us working together to make that happen. Few species match the sailors' need for urgent conservation intervention. And so we desperately need other collections to support this initiative in order to help ensure the sailors' survival. Please help us to help save the sailor. The animals behind me are European bison, a species that became extinct in the wild in 1926. If we're going to save what is possibly the most exciting discovery since the Okapi at the beginning of the 20th century, zoos around the world need to contribute to enable us to establish a captive program in Vietnam and in Laos for the Sawa so we can avoid it going the way that the European bison almost went. Sawa conservation is not going to be easy. This is going to be a challenge. But I encourage us not to shy from that challenge, but to embrace it and give ourselves the chance to give a remarkable gift to the world through the conservation of this beautiful, beautiful animal.